Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of functions. Uh, in this video, I'll be talking about three major things, recursive functions, higher order functions, and anonymous functions. Let's get started. So recursive functions are those functions which call themselves in their own body. But before we jump into recursive function example, let's talk about what is recursion. Recursion can be defined formally like it's a process of breaking down an expression into smaller and smaller expressions until you are able to use the same algorithm to solve each expression. What it means, let's see its example in Scala, then it will be more clear what it means by the term recursion. So I'll be taking the very famous example for recursion, which is factorial, calculating the factorial of a number. So what is factorial? And factorial actually we use it in almost in every programming language while learning that language. So we use it as example for the recursive functions or what is recursion, right? So the factorial of a number, it can be achieved by multiplying all consecutive numbers starting from one till the number. So the number like for this example, we are using it as four. Let's suppose I want to calculate the factorial for the uh, four number so it will be achieved with the 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 it will be answer will be 24 so it is consisting of two major portion if portion and else portion like here i have specified that the recursive function is made up of an if else expression you can see it here so the if represents the uh, base case which is the smallest possible expression uh, on which the algorithm will run and the else will represent the recursive call so it is the base uh, case and it is the recursive call the else part right this is called as a recursive function and it can be shown like this this is the scala implementation and it's a graphical uh, representation of the factorial of a number four you can see it the directions this is how the program proceeds like right from here to here 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 and then it will go back to the up and this is the, and this way we'll be getting the answer 24 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 equal to answer 24 so now next point is what are the higher order functions the functional programming languages treat functions as a first class values what it means like other variables like integers and string like it takes the like function as the parameter right uh, it can be passed as a parameter to another function and it can be returned as a result as well This is called as a higher order function. So higher order functions can be defined like uh, The functions which can take other function as a parameter and which return functions as a result are called as a higher order function That's why we have written it like that. It treats the function as a first class values as other variables, right? This is how it can be represented graphically in which we have our inputs available. The function or other values can be sent as an input to the function function and it can return the other uh, values or function as a result. These are called as a higher order functions in Scala. So this is the normal function syntax in which uh, we are defining with the keyword def space a function the function name and we have a parameter name colon data type and this is a function body these are regular functions and this is how we can define the syntax for the higher order functions in which we have def then we have a name of the function at in the in between the parenthesis we have the function name colon data type gives like this data type right so i have defined it here as well this is how we can define the higher order functions let's take some examples uh, uh, with, without the usage of higher order functions this is the first example in which we are calculating the sum of integers between two integers like a and b a represent the lower bound and b represent the higher bound in this case and you can see it here this is the uh, function uh, in which we are not using the higher order function concept so answer will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 it will be 15 this is how we can do it uh, like in the case of this example without usage of higher order function similarly here we are just uh, finding the sum of cubes between two integers 1 and 5 it is same concept but again in this case we are not using any concept of higher order functions right and in the same way this is the like sum of factorials between the two numbers uh, a and b again we are not using the concept of higher order functions so these three examples will be rewriting with the help of higher order functions so can we factor out this uh, some common pattern into a single function rather than we have our three separate functions means let's try to put it uh, the three things in a one function right let's see it here so how we can do the same summation with the higher order functions this is uh, like th this is the simplest example of higher order function in which we are defining the sum as the uh, higher order recursive function which takes three parameters first parameter you can see it here it's the function itself second uh, uh, the second the third parameter are just the two integers we are using it here and in this case we are just doing the same thing but with the help of higher order function because we are sending the 
uh, like function as a parameter the basic functionality of sum is to take the sum of all the integers between a and b e and b a and b sorry the function can be passed as an argument which will perform uh, some operation uh, on the of integers a and b a result of a parameter function will then be uh, uh, summed to get the result of a higher order function this is my higher order function and these three are nothing but the helper functions before we actually execute the uh, sum function we need to create some helper functions right the first helper function uh, returns the specified integer second returns the cube of an integer third returns the factorial of an integer so these are the helper functions which we require for our example so this is the first example of higher order functions in which the top is nothing but the uh, higher order function then we have a three helper function this is the function in which we are doing the sum of integers between a and b in this way in this case we are using the concept of higher order function you can see it here we are passing the function as the input parameter here right you can see as a first parameter like id it is already defined as a helper function here right in the same way this is the second example sum of cubes in which i'm sending i'm just sending the first parameter as a cube here the second helper function and third we are sending the factorial as the first parameter in this a sum of factorials between a and b it means we have rewritten the three things that i shown it before without the helper functions earlier now we have rewritten the three things in a one body in one function in which with the help of the three helper function this is called as a higher order functions and last point of this video is anonymous functions anonymous functions are the function literals which don't require a name that's why they are called as call it as a anonymous function they can be passed as it is to a higher order function let's see one example so the first of all before we uh, jump into the example this is the syntax of anonymous function the parameters of anonymous function gives the function body if i have to calculate this uh, cube of a number this is how we can do it in a anonymous case it can be like defined like this or this right so there will be no there will be no name available so it will be same as higher order function uh, but this time around will not be having any helper function and will will be not not be having any name available this is the like same uh, example you can see it here uh, that we have taken in the previous case as well but what's the change here can you just figure it out the change in this case there is no name available as a first parameter here i'm not using any function name here that's why it's called as a anonymous function at last this is another example again cube of a number instead of sending a name as a first parameter we are just using the this uh, the expression here right this is called as a anonymous function and this marks the end of this video i hope you must have understood the concept of recursive function anonymous function and higher order function rest of the concepts i'll be covering up in the next video thanks for watching guys see you next video